this is amazing hope you can hear me right now sound is working perfectly i can see that you can see me right now and that is amazing and i want to talk to you today about something very very powerful let me just check if the sound is all right perfect we are talking about being haunted by your past uh, mistakes and what i'm talking about right now today is i want to share some personal story with you uh, a personal story that means a lot to me and i think um, it's going to give you a lesson that maybe at this point of time in life uh, you may require and i i don't claim to know um, a lot about your life i know about mine you know about yours but let's have this conversation right now here to see uh, if if you can relate to what i'm talking about so back in the days um i used to be in a relationship um it's about 10 12 12 13 years ago and by the way just so you understand this is not a relationship le lesson today but a lesson about how to bounce back from your past mistakes um because i'm sure there has been some times in your life where you made some mistake and if you are if you are right now watching me live make sure you hit the like button and love button and let me know if you're watching me live or replay so i know i can interact with you right now so we can make it a conversation right now not a one way communication i'm sure there has been some time in your life where you made some past mistake maybe financial past mistake maybe uh, you know small like things like you know bought a wrong phone and then later on you regretted the next day because some new model came up or you got in a relationship later on you regretted like oh my god i got in a relationship with this person or you got you the person you're married to you think i should have waited a little bit more or maybe sometimes it's about a career maybe you feel that hey i chose the wrong career and now i'm 40 45 50 55 whatever that your age is and you feel you are stuck there or maybe sometimes you said something to somebody maybe your close ones your father your mother your son your daughter your your husband your wife your friend your close colleague and you sometimes wish you could just take those words back but you can't so you, you you tend to forget you try to forget you pretend to forget but those things come back to you over and over again and every single time you see that person those memories come back to you and make you feel guilty or maybe not just that um maybe sometimes when you see them you try to forget but they remind you of your past mistakes are you getting what i'm talking about come in good to see you i am well hope you're well too and these kind of mistakes that we have made in the past have haunted us for many times for many many years and i'll talk about my personal experience um, back in the days i was in a relationship until 2010 2011 uh, 2011 um and i thought this lady i was in relation this woman i was in relationship with i thought you know we were going to be together forever right that's what i thought and things didn't go that well things were working well but the end was not very powerful i it it came as a as a shock for me uh the the way you know things actually broke in the middle the details are not important here what's important is the feeling that i had as a man i felt helpless voiceless powerless my inner dialogue was how how can she do this to me after all that i've done for her after all i've sacrificed for her after all the love that i've created for her after after all after all the love that i've given her after every single letter that i've written for her after every single thing that i've done for her she has to do this to me and i kept with that story for many many uh, for a long time i felt like a victim and i kept telling myself you know i had friends who said oh bishal you you deserve better you deserve better or you know just move on move on it's very easy to say but i was stuck there it was almost like you know sometimes you step on a bubble gum and then you keep moving and this bubble gum is carrying with you um you carrying with your you know with yourself uh, under your shoe that was me carrying that mistake or carrying that past relationship and being haunted every single moment checking my phone all day long will she ever text me will she ever call me 
me calling and disconnecting before it, it was ringing. Can you relate to what I'm talking about in some areas of your life? Let me know in the chat box. And it kept going on and on for a long time. And then I thought I'm never going to be in a relationship because I let that past mistakes become my identity. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever done that? Have you ever let a past mistake, maybe with a client, maybe in a relationship, maybe a past mistake about uh, being, mistake you have done to yourself, become your identity? Maybe you didn't good, take good care of yourself, so you are unhealthy, and now some people called you fat behind your back, and now that fat, 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 that becomes your identity. Has this ever happened to you? Or maybe in money situation, you see other people making a lot of money, being wealthy, buying the home, buying you know, getting all the popularity or being happy and actually donating and contributing and you deep inside, you feel somehow ashamed. Has this ever happened to you? And you let that become your identity? I got to tell you for a long period of time in my life, I felt that was going to be the rest of my life until I realized something. Until I realized my past mistake does not have to be my permanent mistake. My past mistake does not have to be my permanent mistake anymore. And that's what I want to talk about. I met my life partner then, and we have been in a very beautiful relationship. Many people say that, right? Like, oh, she's my dream, you know, this, that. I, I'll tell you this right now today, very proudly as a life partner. For my life partner, we are not just partners. We are home for each other. Do we have conflicts? Yes. Do we have fights? Yeah. Do we have love? Yeah. Do we flirt with each other? Yes. Do we tease each other? Yes. Do we sometimes become angry with each other? Yes. We are home. It's not about we having a home. We together our home. The reason I say that is because I stop letting the past mistakes become and stay as my permanent mistake. I got to ask you this question right now. What past mistakes are you holding on to that you have not let go of? Sometimes I hear from my clients, some, some people inside our program, people say, well, Vishal, I went to, you know, these days, everybody's a public speaker. You know, it. I've been doing it for a long time, but many people have been doing it for a long time. Suddenly people who actually, sorry to say that, and I say that with love and, and admiration, but many times I see these people who are not competent enough, not confident enough. I'm saying com they don't have the competency. They don't have the competence enough. And they come become a professional speaker and coach. Just last week, I was, I was talking about it with my, with my team, that there is a lady that I know of who emailed me a couple of... Um, I think two, two and a half months ago, saying that she was going through a very financial problem. She wants to be a coach. And very soon, you know, just last week, I saw, a, saw an ad from her saying, I'm a millionaire coach. I teach people how to, be one, how to make one crore rupees. That's bullshit. Now, sometimes you probably as a speaker, you probably as a leader, because I work with, you know, predominantly leaders. I work with IT professionals, project managers, doctors, lawyers, vice presidents, CEOs, and I make them confident, impactful, and unforgettable speakers. Sometimes I hear from them, Vishal, I went to that person, you know, that person with that ponytail, I've gone to their courses, it's bullshit. Sometimes people tell me, Vishal, I've gone to this course and that program and this coach and that mentoring. Vishal, it's not working out for me. I got to tell you, those are past mistakes you have made in the choices. It's okay, take lesson from it. But those past mistakes, in this case, these choices of your courses and coaches, the past mistakes don't have to be your permanent mistake. So if you say that I've gone to one coach, it didn't work out, that means I should never go to a coach. It's like saying... You know, Vishal, I, I, uh, I, I once was driving, so I met with a small accident, so I decided I'm never going to drive a car. Makes no sense. Correct? Your past mistakes do not have to become your permanent mistakes. Maybe you have made some wrong choices. Many of our clients, in fact, I'm going to show you just an example right now of an individual. Her name is Kalpana. Kalpana probably will watch this video later on. Kalpana Muridi is a brilliant lady. She spent a bomb, lakhs and lakhs and lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of rupees with many different coaches. Some of the biggest names, and I'm not going to name them, but some of the biggest branded spiritual gurus in India, some of the biggest um, 
public speakers in the world. And she went, she invested money, time, she traveled, she was looking for answer. Until she came to a, one of our programs in 2018, and that's when she found the practical approach. Now, see, I'm going to tell you what Kalpana did this year in 2021 is the time when I'm actually recording the video. She was invited for the first time by Harvard University to give a speech, not just to the students, but to the top 60 professors. And she was the speaker for the professors, and she got paid to speak. And she gives the credit to me, but I don't take that. I said, Kalpana, it's you who's, who did it. You are part of our program. That's amazing. I love that. You, but how you grew, the, you know, Anne Ryan says that many years ago, the, the, the credit goes to the man or the woman in the arena. So I want to I, I proudly share this quick video with you right now to make sure you understand that it's not about your past mistakes, not at all. It's about what you do about it. I can see your questions. I'm going to answer that in a second. But this lady, Kalpana, she inspires me so much. Because, and there is a very powerful line she talks about in the video quickly right now. I'm going to show you right here, right now. Hope you can hear the sound right now. And check this out, what she says. My name is Kalpana Murlidhar Bishal. I'm making this uh, video for all those people out there who has a message and who uh, or want to become a powerful speaker that I wanted to say that I got an invitation from um, Karnataka State uh, Higher Education Academy, Academy Darwad University, where I will, in next few days, I will be speaking and empowering the top 60 professionals who have been appointed as an assistant professors to various government yeah. colleges. A couple of years ago, I didn't even know how to be a good speaker. And today I am a powerful speaker because every sessions, every programs, your mentoring program, public speaking program, mastermind program, your one-on-one -on -one coaching program, every session, every experience has helped me to discover my true self and connect to my authentic self. And today I am a powerful speaker. And I thank myself because uh, instead of being skeptical and judgmental about myself, I took these opportunities uh, and uh, I believe that opportunities are seeking me. And the only difference between all the people out there and me and me is that you are dreaming your dream and I'm leaving my I dream. love that. Vishal, I thank you for all that. your support, your love, compassion, your your all the guidance and st tools, strategies and programs and sessions that helped me to become a very powerful speaker. Thank you, Vishal. I love what she said, but you know, I am very proud of the results for sure. But this line, I'm going to play that one more time, where she says that the only difference between all of you and me is that I'm still, I'm living my dreams and you're still dreaming your dreams. So check this out right now. It's important you go watch this. My opportunities are, and uh, I believe that opportunities are seeking me. And the only difference between all the people out there and me and me is that you are dreaming your dream and I'm living my dream. Bishal, I thank this you. This is for being said by a lady who has gone through many different courses. She's spent and wait. She said, Bishal, I, I spent a lot of money in different courses. Didn't work out for me. And that's the reason I'm saying this to you right now. Your past mistakes don't have to become your permanent mistakes. Whether it's, look, whether it's in your career, in your health, you have made some mistakes, but your past mistakes do not have to become your permanent mistakes. You can make a different choice. I know people in our mastermind groups, it's a high level mastermind, elite transformation mastermind. People there have gone to different people and they say, Bishal, I have got a lot of information. People go there, but Bishal, I don't like being in a group where there is a Facebook group with 10,000 people and just WhatsApp groups and messages and messages. I wanted personal interaction and I understand that. So because I learned the lesson about past mistakes don't have to become permanent mistakes in my personal life, guess what? I see that in leaders. I see that in CEOs and vice presidents. You have made that some mistakes maybe in the past, or maybe you did not make the mistakes. Maybe mistakes happened to you. Let it go. You can't just keep replaying the same thing over and over again, thinking, oh, you know, me, big thing, you know, that bad thing happened to me, that bad thing happened to me, that bad thing happened to me, that, so I can't take the new, it's like saying, you know, I played football once, so I got hurt, so I'm never going to play football again. What? No. It's like saying that, you know, I'm going to, I bought a bulb one day, and the bulb got fused after a while. It didn't work. So I'm not, not going to bu buy bulb again. No, there are people waiting for you. You need new team members. If you made a wrong choice in hiring, I have done that. I've hired some wrong people in the past in my company. 
Doesn't mean I'm not going to hire some right people in the past. My past mistakes don't have to be the permanent mistakes. Does that make sense to you? Let me know in the chat box. Shadat says, I suffer from a lot of depression, a lot of depression and depression. I, yeah, I did that. How, how to overcome the frustration? You Man, I, I got to tell you, but I know you're from, you're probably from Bangladesh. I want to just say, and I, Kamini, all of you that are watching, let me know, replay, hashtag replay below when you're watching this so that I know exactly who's watching. I want to say right now to you that I suffer from a lot of depression. Now, how do you know that is the first question. It's, it's mental health. So you got to take care of that. But second thing I also want to say, there is a difference between feeling frustrated and actually having depression. Depression, depression is a clinical word. So, you know, just a few days ago, I was watching, and I, this is not about you, brother, but there, a few days ago, I was watching, uh, I, I, was, I was somewhere, and, and uh, the six-year-old girl saying that, Mama, I'm feeling depressed. Now, think about it. How did that girl learn that word? Because she's hearing from the parents. So I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling depressed. So while depression is a very serious thing, I've got to tell you, there's a difference between feeling frustrated about your failure and actually feeling depression. Sometimes we use words because we are hearing all the time. It's a past mistakes you have done. That's okay. Move on. Now I'm going to give you two tips for you to overcome that. Number one, get focused on your mission in life. What's the mission? A man without a mission is not a man. It's a boy. A woman without a mission is not a woman. It's a girl. You don't graduate from being a boy to a man at the age of 18. You graduate from a boy to a man, to a girl, to a woman, when you get a mission in life, a mission, a purpose, not just a goal, a purpose that you're moving toward. What's your goal? What's your purpose? Number one. Number two, hang out with people who are where you want to be. Hang out. That doesn't mean they're going to come to your home and say, Achha, come on, come on. You can be a great, powerful speaker. No, you have to, you have to invest time, energy, money. You have to find the right people. You can be a part of a 10,000 people be, you know, group where you don't have any access, or you can be a part of a small group of 10, 20 people where you get massive amount of access, where you learn the techniques, the tools, the strategies. If you don't do that, what's going to happen is you're going to have guilt. Guilt that, oh my God, I wasted time. Oh my God, I wasted time. Oh my God, I wasted time. I wasted one more year. I go, and then before you know, you're 55 year old, 65 year old, 75 year old. And you've wasted time and you have regret. Let me tell you what is the regret and guilt. Guilt is nothing but feeling sincere about your previous insincerity. You have not been sincere about your life for a long time. And then suddenly you feel sincere about that. Oh, I'm, I, at least I'm feeling sincere about my previous insincerity. No, that's guilt. There is no, there is no point in that. Maria Robinson said many years ago, nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anybody can start today and make a new ending. So all the people right now watching, I'm telling you, you can, can make a new ending. You need new skills of public speaking, get a coach, get somebody to help you. If we can do that for you, great. But it doesn't make a zero. It doesn't make any difference to me whether you join our program or not. Our programs are full. Our clients are successful. I'm successful. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about you. Find the right coach. Find the right mentor. Somebody who can help you, who can coach you, who can guide you. Surround yourself with people like Kalpana inside our program. I'm going to show you one more video later on. But surround yourself with people who, who inspire you to think bigger who show you what is possible for you so that you can absolutely go and grow to the next level. It's not about being, it's not about theoretically learning. You can just spend your entire lifetime watching YouTube videos, but what you really require is a mentor, somebody who can take you outside the transformation and tell you, hey, don't do this, do that. Don't make this voice mistake, do it this way. Don't do this body language, do it that way. Don't tell your story this way, do it that way. Do you understand what I'm talking about, guys? Are you understanding? Hit the like button if you understand and share it right now to your network if you understand what I'm talking about. The final example I want to talk about is this individual, Dr. Shiv Kumar. He's the managing director of Indian Public School. He's one of my clients. And I, when he first came to me, he wanted to develop a great voice. He wanted to become a powerful speaker. He didn't know how. He went to many speakers. He spent lakhs and lakhs of rupees. He came to me and here is what he had to say. Hi, I'm Dr. Shiv Kumar. And the biggest learning for today for me is like uh, the four quadrants of voice modulation, like which Bishal explained very clearly. And he's a man with... Uh, who gives very practical solutions for your problems like and about your facial expressions during your presentation your body language and all those kind of stuff and uh, I feel really pumped up for today's session and uh, I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group because he's a person who really builds confidence in each one of you and I am a, a real-time example for it like 
when you attend a session, like everything is gone and you, you're totally pumped up to face the future. And I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group and get benefited, become a confident person, confident speaker, and have a purposeful life. Thank you. Have a purposeful life. That's what he talked about, right? Have a purposeful life. Look, you can do that. Good question. What want to hear your definition of happiness? It was very interesting when you explained it earlier. My definition of happiness, when you feel time collapses, I feel happiness sometimes is a decision to be yourself. And what I mean by that is just today I was having coffee with my life partner and we were not checking phone, we we're not doing anything. So happiness is being in flow. Happiness is a decision. Sometimes we are just waiting for, you know, that to get that thing. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say this is the goal of my life. Okay. Just, just imagine whatever you wanted, more money, more, more, better relationship, better career success. And we think this, once I get this, then I'm going to be happy. Happiness is an emotion, is a feeling. Once I get this, so I'm attaching my happiness, the feeling that I can generate anytime to an accomplishment, which I don't control. And I'm going there, going there. And by the time I reach there, guess what? My vision has increased. Now I want a newer thing and I'm not becoming happy. And there is a tremendous difference between achieving, achieving to be happy and happily achieving. There is a big difference in that. My definition of, so what I, not a definition, my opinion about happiness is, it's a choice about emotions to feel flow about yourself. Hope that helps. Good question. But man, don't let your past mistakes become your permanent mistake. That's the thing that I want to talk about right now. You've made some mistakes in the past. Bounce back. Nobody's going to come and give you a trophy saying, oh, you are fine. You know, finally, nobody's going to give you a ticket to your happiness. You have to choose for yourself. You have to choose that for yourself, whether it's confidence, better public speaking skills. Like, I don't need to tell you that you need a coach. You already know that. And the fact that you're still watching the video means that there is something inside you says, I'm, I'm, done watching all this bullshit ad you know sometimes you where is my phone you just watch video and sometimes you know you're scrolling and you see ads of ads of the same people if you know what i'm talking about and they spend crores of rupees to hijack your attention for a reason because they want your money you know that there is nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with money but what i'm talking about is find mentor who have mastery who are not just chasing money who have mastery, who you want to be like, not to copy them, not to drink their charana mrita, but people who feel that, you know what? I, I want to, I, I don't know who he is, but who is a, he's a somebody. I don't know who she, what she does, but she does something. I don't know what kind of a leader she is. I hope that that person can be my leader. Would you like to be a leader like that? In that case, I have an opportunity for you. I'm not, and, and it's probably not for you, but I'm telling you right now, if you are, a corporate leader or a business leader, some kind of a leader in your life. And you want, you feel that, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm being a good speaker, but I want to have a new way to lead. I want to have a bigger income, more influence, more reputation. I want to have hundred percent confidence. And I want to have the command to have the love, the happiness, the joy, the passion, the confidence, to the courage, the, the voice modulation, the impromptu speaking. Call one of our team members. Call one of our team members. They're going to be happy to talk to you to know exactly what you're looking for. We don't accept everybody inside our program. We do not. The, the reason is our program is not where we, you just get access to a login details program. Now, that's where I coach you and mentor you and train you and give you feedback. These results that you see, Dr. Shiv Kalpana, they did not become that just by watching video. I trained them. My question to you right now is, would you like to be trained by me? If not, totally fine. Makes no difference to me. But if you would like to be, you know, trained by me, um, call one of my team members. Have a talk with them. Tell them about your challenges. You, you'll probably, they will know more about you. We are not interested in selling you. We are bad at sales. We, that's not what we do here right now. Do you understand? I'm a teacher. I'm a mentor. If you believe that you have a dream you want to fulfill, and if you believe that I can, look, I can be a catalyst, and here is one thing I want to tell you. I'm not a cattle. I'm a catalyst. I'm not going to be your friend. I'm going to be your coach and mentor. 
I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. I'm going to tell you the tweaks you need to make on your daily life, your routine, your mindset. Inside our program, people go through some exercises every single morning for 10 minutes. That jazzes up their mind. Imagine for a second having a 10-minute ritual that can absolutely, it's not just oh, reading, learning. I'm not talking about that 10-minute journey in the morning that you do that actually amps up your confidence level. Would you like to learn that? How much would that be worth to you? How much would that be worth to you for you to become a powerful speaker? And the question is, if you do not improve, if you do not transform your confidence, if you still think, oh, in the past, I made some public speaking mistakes. In the past, I've joined some small, low-level programs who were, you know, that were done by people who are not competent enough. If, if you still are stuck in the past, I'm going to tell you, then you're living in the past. And at the age of 65, you'll still say, oh, my God, I'm still, I made that mistake at the age of, you know, 45 that's not how warriors live. That's how warriors live, not warriors live. Your past mistakes don't have to be your permanent mistakes. My life changed the day I decided to get a mission in my life. Sir, please say something about body language that many people lack. You're one of the best mentors I've found. Social media will be great help. Yeah, this is not a body language seminar. Some other time. We teach this inside our program. I'm happy to talk about it, but this is not, this is a separate entity right now. Right now we are talking about your past mistakes. I'm not here to instruct on, on a specific public speaking skills right now. Hope you understand the decorum and the intention for everybody's benefit right now. How will I focus from my past to present? Well, right now, while you're watching me, are you thinking about past? See, we either think about past or the future. Right now, be here right now. It's a practice. We teach it inside our program. You cannot be a powerful speaker if you're thinking about the past and you're thinking, see, here is, here, here is what's anxiety. You know, many people say, I have anxiety, I have anxiety. I'll tell you what is anxiety. Anxiety is the memory of a future failure. Listen to me carefully. Anxiety is a memory. I didn't say imagination. I did not say imagination. A memory of a future failure. So in the mind, you're thinking my presentation is going to go bad. I'm not going to get the promo promotion. My appraisal conversation is going to go bad. I'm going to fail in the business. I'm already 40. I'm already 45. This will happen to me. I'm going to get the disease. I'm going to probably be fat. And, and you imagine it, replay it in your mind over and over. This is called negative visualization, by the way, just so you know what I'm talking about in neuroscience. And you do it over and over and over again. And then you wonder why that happens because you practiced it in your mind for a long time. Anxiety is the memory of a future failure. It's almost like you remember it when it happens. I should not meet with an accident. I should not meet with an accident. I should not meet with an accident. Beep, boom! Memory of a future failure. So are you practicing future failure or future success in your mind? That's, that's the question for you to ask all the time. And the final thing I wanna talk about today right now before I go, is um, this lady, Dr. Suma. When she first came to me inside our program, hope you guys can see the screen. When she first came to me, she was, she is Dr. Suma. She is a um, professor in a very reputed college in India. And she tried for the last 10 years to improve her public speaking. She went to many different courses. She improved a little bit, but she did not transform, you know, that transformation did not happen. Then she came to me and she, one of her problems was she used to forget her points. She could not speak for more than three minutes uh, at a stretch. Impromptu speaking was a big problem. Confidence was a big problem. And Dr. Suma has gone from stage fear, forgetting points to confidence speeches without having to look at notes anymore. She used to always, you know, look at notes. Like she used to have a page and like only with the page or the slides she used to speak. Now she does not have anymore. Let me tell you, she, uh, because she is inside our elite transformation mastermind, only those people have personal access to me, my private cell phone number. She sent me a text. See this. Good evening, Vishal. Today's program went on very well. I spoke without looking into the sheets. Many appreciated the storytelling part and the way I ended with a quote. It boosted my confidence level. Thank you, Vishal, for the timely help. And guys, this is, what, this, this is why I do what I do. If Kalpana can do it, if Dr. Shiv can do it, if Dr. Suma can do it, you can do it. Call one of my team members. Find the number. 
You're going to find the number anyway. I'm not going to say the number right now. The people who want to find, find. People who don't want to find, hey, keep watching the other people's video. No problem. You, you can watch video for the next one week, one month, one year. And before you know, you're going to be 55, 65 thinking, I wasted half of my life watching other people's video. I did not take action. And you're going to be filled with regret, guilt, shame. And that's okay that if that's the life you want. But I'm here to warn you, there is a different option you can make today. You can get a coach, you can get a mentor because you might have done many things in the past, but your past mistakes don't have to be your permanent mistakes. You can change. That's all I got. Hope that helps all the people who are who watched it live here right now. I appreciate you. I probably will also upload that video later on on YouTube, but hope that helps. Bishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Take care and have a powerful day. Your past mistakes don't have to become your permanent mistakes. Make a different choice today.